This is your one and only FireSpark81 with your daily dose of video goodness and welcome back to another exciting Conan Exiles mod spotlight. Today we're taking a look at Hozav's custom UI mod. Let's get to it. So this is a long overdue mod spotlight. I have used this mod for, I don't even know, almost a year now. It's been a very long time. As you can see, my health and all of that stuff looks completely different. And that is because of this mod and it is completely customizable. So if we hit I to go into our inventory screen, you can see down here, we got UI settings, this little button right here. You click that and that brings up all of the settings for this mod and it is so customizable it's insane and it also adds a lot of different information uh, that you don't normally get in in uh, you know easy to see ways and we'll cover all that here in a minute so in order to customize this mod all you have to do is go into your inventory and then there's a little button down here you click that and this allows you to customize pretty much anything in this you want to customize so we have two options right here for combat settings we have a uh, target health bar enabled this can enable or disable a health bar then we have a uh, target health stats in vanilla health bar so this just puts the stats in the vanilla style instead of hosav's custom health bar so if we take a look here let's just spawn in an enemy real quick all right we have this guy here and we'll just give him a little shot here maybe there you go you can see got a custom health bar there really cool all right we're gonna go back into our inventory go back into the settings now we have a ton of different things here that we can even customize this health bar itself so here you see it says custom target ui you can disable this to have nothing we shoot there you go you just that's it that's what you have nobody likes that that's boring we want cool awesome custom stats so we click this and now you can customize all the different stuff that you want so we have the health numeric text that's just the numbers in the health bar you can see them there shows the numbers and the percentage if we tick that off and then close it and uh there you go, shoot the guy so it updates. You can see it doesn't actually show you the numbers. We go back into the settings here. We got the consciousness percentage. So if you hit them with a truncheon, you can see the gray bar up there at the top actually shows you how close to being knocked out they are. Crazy informational. Like there's so much more information you can get from this. If we take the, tick that off, you can see we no longer see that and you're just back to knocking them out as normal then we have target level that would be for pvp target health custom color this actually lets you set the color of that that health bar so you click this you see any color you want any color imaginable you can set it to that so we want it to be purple we can set it to purple awesome close it now when we shoot this guy his health is now purple we go back in the settings here we can take that off we got the consciousness custom color so that consciousness bar that showed up that's gray we can change that to whatever we want just like we change the health we also have a background customization for the background color so that would be for the target level we can't see that i don't have somebody to to shoot that's another player and then we have this one which obviously shows you the description right here which is pve player stamina so this is only for pve because it would be broken if it was for pvp so it lets you see the stamina of you know other players and it even has built-in age of calamitous functionality so you can see here target aoc faction visibility only works on NPCs. Then we have nearby ally UI settings. Shows up to four nearby clan members, so followers included, health, buffs, stamina, all of that stuff. So let's go get some followers. Okay, so we have our follower following us now, and you can see up at the top there, it says his name, I'm a follower, and then underneath of it, it has his health bar, which is really cool. So we can go back into our settings here, and we can get all the information from that that we want. We can get whatever buffs it currently has, its name, its health, and we can even change the color. So if we don't like that, we can go here and just click this and once again pick any color we want there we go so now his health is blue then we have the buff settings so you can see your buffs in the ui you can also get a buff timer and the buff description so if i grab a potion okay so i just used an elixir and there you can see it says increased accuracy shows me that it's got 59 minutes left it's counting down the seconds and it says that the accuracy is increased by three once again freaking amazing okay so now we're moving on 
to that we got that covered and now we have some other settings so we have damage indicator shows the damage so it pops up on the screen and actually shows you the damage now something that that i love about this mod that you don't get in a lot of other ui mods and i'm not putting i don't want to put those other ui mods down but a lot of them just show you what you hit for which you already know so you can you can look at your your damage you can go over here to stats and all they do is just pop up this number every time you hit something but that's not accurate that's not an accurate representation of the actual damage you've done this mod actually shows you within a point or two because there's some rounding that goes on I gotta jump in here real quick because while editing this I realized this is a bit of misinformation or I just thought one thing and said another. It's a point above or a point below the actual damage, not a point or two, so it won't be two points off. I haven't seen it ever be two points off. I've seen it be a point higher or a point lower. So I just want to make sure that I clarify that so that there isn't any misinformation. You're not gonna get up to two points difference in damage. Isn't that big of a deal to get you close enough to know what you're actually hitting for, so if that armor pin that you have on your weapon is worth it or not, or what, however you have your weapon customized, or if that's even the right weapon you should be using, if you need more strength, you get the idea. It shows you the actual legit damage. Then you also have the durability and uh, crafting percentage, so we click that and close, it should show durability of my weapons and if you take a look at my bow it says 99 percent that's showing me the durability left on my bow it also allows you to use the improved quality of life mod with it and disable a bunch of the stuff that would conflict with this mod you can change the size of your hot bar you don't like your hot bar being so big there you go now it's smaller it doesn't take up as much of your screen you can make it uh, medium and large back to default hot bar only in your inventory you click that and your hot bar is just gone we also have mini map functionality uh, you can change the color of the mini map border once again to whatever color you want and you can change to where you want your mini map at on the screen we're just going to turn it off because i don't want it at all then we have the kill xp feedback this just gives you all the information you need when you kill something shows you all the xp you get from it plays the sound shows you the amount shows you the names all of that stuff so if we kill something here we'll just kill this hyena back here hyena I'm trying to kill you you can see it pops up there spotted hyena and how much we killed so that this just allows you to customize all that you can turn the background of it off you can not show the names so if we just click these and uh, we have this it just shows you the amount so this is this selects the whole thing so it turns it on or off and then these allow you to customize it so let's turn off that let's just get just the basic amount it should just pop up on the screen you can also show see there it's showing me my damage numbers 47 every time i hit and then there it pops up i gained 1800 experience then we have the personal UI settings, just allows you to customize a ton of other different things. So custom personal UI, that's selected. We can uncheck that, puts it back to the vanilla. Then we can click detailed and that just gives you detailed stats on the vanilla. So you get your, your um, health value, your stamina, shows you your food and your water, your weight, temperature, all of that good stuff. But if we select this one, this gives you a ton of other information here that we'll cover here in a second. But you can also do stuff like center it down here at the bottom. You can add visibility for the background. So we can put a background there. We can take the background away. No background at all. Uncheck that. Put it back up there at the top. So you have two different places that you can put it if you want it. You can also change to um fun come i don't know why they made this option whichever that is i don't know or imperial or metric you can see here celsius fahrenheit and then 14 whatever that is we're gonna go back to fahrenheit because you know we're still archaic over here with our uh, imperial system then you have your health bar settings so we have the health bar visibility you can just turn that completely off if you don't want to see your health for some reason you have your values you can turn that on or off so you can see the actual amount custom color once again custom color just like all the other custom colors health stamina so we can change the stamina uh, text color here so we go up here do that click ok that's that's a terrible color combination, but it's an option if you want to do it. Same thing with the stamina bar. You can make it invisible, turn off the values, and custom color. 
Then we have the experience settings. So we have the current level. This is all this is stuff right here that affects this little diamond and stuff. So we have current level. You can see that blinking on or off. Uh, experience amount, that's up here. So it shows you how much you're at, how much you need, all of that good stuff. Then we have uh, the percentage, which is right underneath here. So percentage, see that going on or off. Then we have the experience progress indicator. So that's this little diamond. You can see that it's starting to fill up there. I added some experience to myself. So we're at 17% now. You can customize the color on that as well. So drag that up there and uh, change the color on that. Put it up there, there we go. You can see now it's blue, change it to whatever. You get the idea. You can customize the color on it. Then we have our mount settings. So you can see we also have a custom mount uh, UI here and we can change all the stuff on that. We can make the health visible or invisible. We can change the uh, the numbers, whether they're visible. We can change the colors. Same stuff we've been getting all this just for our mount. We can uh, do the background there. You can see a little horse, no little horse. And uh, then we have the custom color for the, the background as well. We have the same stuff with the endurance. You can show all of that different stuff, custom colors, all of that, everything you need to customize your mount interface. Then we have additional HUD settings, just a ton more options, server info, shelter percentage, in-game time of day. So that's up here. You can see right here, I got it locked to noon. So you can turn that on or off. Age of Calamitous, function, uh, emblem or HUD on HUD, uh, armor values. So right here's our armor value, damage values. Those come up right here. So this is really cool because it also shows you the DPS of your current weapon. So if we equip our bow, you can see it shows me that my bow does 24 damage. This isn't your total damage. This is the weapons damage, 24 damage, 9% armor pin, and it's 82 DPS. So you can actually see the DPS of your weapon. If we swap to the truncheon, you can see that it's one, and then it shows you the actual DPS of it. So freaking awesome. So much information. This actually allows you to see the highest DPS weapon that you have in your arsenal of weapons. So if that's something you actually care about, you can go through and find the one that has the most DPS. Then we have temperature values. So that's this one right here. We can turn that on or off if we don't want that. Same with the weight. Shows you how much you have, what your total weight is, and the percentage of how much it's full. Then your food and your water values. So that's your food over here, the little stomach. Shows you the percentage that you got going on right there. And it shows it ticking down. Then we have the water as well. Then you can customize the font. So you can do font size. We could do large fonts, super big, small fonts. We're back to medium. You can also change the color of those fonts, all kinds of color customization in here. So we can drag this all the way over there. Oh, wow, we can't, yeah, that's, uh, that's terrible. What is it with me? Here we go, let's go even more, more terrible color here. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at that, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, no, 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 I like the, uh, the default was just fine. But if you wanted, you know, horrific green color font, you could do that. Then you have your corruption values. Okay, there we go. We have a little bit of corruption there. So you can see up here, health reduced by 57, 28.22%. So if I uncheck that, then it goes away. So that's that little bar right there at the top and show you your corruption. Um, and then you can change the custom color on this. If you don't like that purple, maybe you want it like, you know, once again, whatever color blue, you can change it to that. And then uh, last but not least in here, we have the compass. So you have your little compass right here. So not only do you have the option for a mini map, you also have the option for a compass as well. So compass there, and you can change the background color of that by checking that button there. And then slide it wherever you want. Bam, there you go. Now it's green. And I think that's just about it for this mod. This mod you've seen in so many of my videos and I've used it for so many different things, testing so many different things. It just gives you so much information and it's super accurate. And it's one of my favorite mods aside. It's like Pippi and then this mod. Like the Pippi and this mod are my two absolute favorite mods for this game. So all of you have been wondering what, what mod I use for the interface. And I've, I've mentioned it in the comments many a times, but this is the mod. This is the mod that you should have for your UI if you are on PC. If you're on console, I'm sorry, but you don't have access to mods. But this mod and Pippi should both be in the base game. And these two mod modders, Hozav and the developers of Pippi, should be working with Funcom and coding these mods. And they should be in the vanilla game because they are amazing. They're some of the best mods you can get for this game.
Okay, I think that's it. Um, I'm done gushing over the mod now. It's amazing. Go download it. If you're on PC, you should. If you don't have it already, it gives you more information than you could ever need in this game. All right, that is going to wrap it up for this episode. If you like what you saw, consider hitting that sub button. I want to give a big thank you to my patrons for making this episode possible. You all are absolutely amazing people. If you would like to join my elite crew of Patreon supporters, please check out the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you're shy, you don't like to comment, just hit that thumbs up button and share your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.